Hi, it's me, Nimis, and we're gonna go over Nightshade today. So this is gonna be like just a go over tutorial. I already created this video, but the problem is, is that I picked the wrong um, microphone. So now I have to redo it, but I will tell you some of the problems I had when I was working on this. So the first thing is that when you on a, when you put, put glaze in its own folder and then uh, and then zip it not glaze but um, nightshade because these things kind of like they just uh, they they just take up space okay but anyway you have to go down a little bit and then find it okay so this is nightshade so the intensity is basically going to be how strong the changes would be right but it will add visual changes now i already did this yesterday but it didn't work out so we're gonna work on not a different image but i'm gonna work on maybe i'll work on a different image for now um let me see an image of mine that has not been done um something that can show up. How about this? We'll do this picture of Zajora. So what it does is when you select an image, it will give you a tag, right? So it tags it as swamp, right? So instead of there being like young girl, frog, swamp, like it's going to tag it as just a swamp. So then you pick these intensities. And I'm going to tell you from experience, um, the first time I did this, I'll actually, you know what? I'm, I'll include some of the clips from the old video showing uh, how long it actually took even though there's no audio so um, if you put this on high and the slowest it will give you some crazy number like 426 days which is like not 426 days 426 minutes which is like 17 days and I let this sit for like uh, an hour and it didn't finish glazing not glazing but night shading it it didn't finish it so I had to cancel because I really wanted to finish the video and I, I have proof so I'll show you like in so the best thing to do is just put it on medium and leave it on uh, default sorry leave it on oh my goodness leave it on default and leave it on medium because it will give you like It'll give you like 30, 30 minutes if you have a decent processor. And I do. I have a 2080 RTX in my computer. So there should be no reason why this should take forever. But I'm assuming that it will be faster if you have a better computer, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? I need to put, select an output folder, which I already have one. And we're going to run Nightshade. It says 15 minutes on default, low medium. Not low medium, but default medium. So it's okay, but it, it, it totally lies when it says like you put it on high and then slow, it, you'll never get it shaded. It's not realistic for anyone to use. And I'll come back. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to come back with this. I showed you how this part works. I'm going to go to the next part, which is showing it, showing you the, the other stuff. And okay, we're going to just try that and slow. I just wanted to put this out there that this says <laughs> 395 minutes and three seconds. I don't know if that's going to be in total. I guess I'm just going to do something else while I wait. What is this? <laughs> I, I don't even know how long that is. We're going to How many days? 17 days? Get out of here. If it takes 17 freaking days? No. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna... Okay. This is saying it's 426 minutes. Do Nightshade. I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna restart it and just do default and slow. This is not viable on a... Now, I don't have a bad computer. I have a 26... I have a... No, 26. I have a 2080 RTX on my computer. I have a pretty good processor, so I can run games and stuff on like max settings. I shouldn't be having a problem with this, and this shouldn't be taking this long. Like, it's already been like 20 minutes, 
it's saying all this. So we're, because that is, no, we're not doing that. All right, we're going to try this again. I'll pick Sonata, the Sonata. I'll leave it on medium. Back when it's done analyzing, I guess. Okay, we're back and it, it's going to 26 minutes. This is what I think. How are you supposed to, I just don't understand like what you're supposed to do here. Like, are you supposed to have a really good CPU? That's the case. Like, I don't know if this is supposed to be um, helping artists because I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of artists don't have fancy computers that could probably run this if this is the case. Like, duration spent rendering the nightshade. Time can lead to stronger poison, but longer rendering time. Like, why would I spend 17 days letting it render? Like, I don't. I don't even know if that's a realistic number or not. I have a feeling that I'm going to click off and it's going to tell me that it's going to like add time. Because I feel like you need to have a really good graphics card to be able to render uh, whatever it's freaking rendering. Like I'm not, I'm, I, I'm a little bit of a tech person. And by a little bit, you know, like I understand the pieces of parts that are in my computer and that's probably it. When I had someone install Stable Diffusion, I was unable to do it by myself. I had one of my friends help me when I was trying it out and I don't even know how to uninstall it. They literally told me that it's complicated to remove it off your PC. So I just, and it sucks because it's in my downloads folder. You can't just like go and delete the pieces and then it'll just be gone. Lord to God, it's like a virus. I'll come back when it says whatever it's going to say. Okay, so we're back and it finished. Now, I don't, let's look at this thing. Mm, okay, whatever that is. Let's look. Let's look at it. Well... I see artifacts a little bit. Um, you know what? Let me go look at, I, I think I did. Oh yes. All right. What was this? 25% render. All right. So this was the glazing. So the glazing does this whooshy stuff. I'm going to open both. So this is the glaze. And this is the nightshade. Ooh. All right. I wonder if I can just... There we go. We'll do these. Put them side by side. Two sonatas for one. Okay. All right. So, right away, Nightshade overall looks better than the glazing. The glazing creates these artifacts you can see right here in the eye. Like, you can see it all over her face here. But when you look at over here, you can see that the gradient still exists and the bloom that I like to do still exists. Like. Right over here, you can see there's some distortion. Oh, you, you can't see. Hold on. Right here, you can see there's some distortion. Like, right there. Distortion. Right? It's not as bad over here. And her face is, like, not as distorted. I think that... When they say that you should glaze over... I just don't think that that's necessary. I think that it's going to be too much. I think that you should pick one or the other. I think that if you go over and glaze, I think you should just glaze one time and make it high quality and let it take however long it needs to take. But I don't think the thing is, is about these programs is that they take too long. It was 35 minutes in total to glaze one image. Like, if I wanted to post this, if I made, like, multiple images and, like, multiple artworks, this would take, like, a significant period of time. 
I'm going to take this image here and I'm going to glaze it so we can see what it looks like because that's what they suggest. They suggest doing everything and then glazing over it, right? So we're going to do that too. All right, here we go. I'm going to intensity. Self check after glazing, longer rendering time. Medium. Uh, I'll just can lead to more visible changes. I'm going to leave it on medium and I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the artwork I, I, I use nightshade on. And I will, shit, I will make a new folder. No, I will make a new folder and it will go into that. I have a feeling this is going to take forever. It better not take longer than 30 minutes. I can't imagine spending an hour checking on an image before you have to post it and it looks like crap. Isn't the point that it's like not supposed to like mess with your art that much? Anyway, I'll be back when it's done doing whatever. This had better be a joke. 41 minutes. I can't wait 41 minutes. I got places to be. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna restart it because the, the, I can't... 41 minutes is too long. I can't wait that long. I got things to do. It doesn't seem to matter what setting it's on. It's gonna take 40 minutes to render because I set it to medium and it was at 45 minutes and then I went down and I changed it again to the default setting and I, I um, put it on medium as a 37 minutes. So this is a thing. Maybe I am being a little bit of a doomer by saying this, but it kind of sucks that even with doing this, you know, the, the AI bros say that they can get around it. So imagine you like do this to all of your artwork, you glaze and you nightshade it, and then they still take it anyway. You could still make it a fine tuned model after you and there's something else on them where I'm mad at someone for something. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I haven't even looked it up. Like, d don't quote me. Like, I know they were Ben Ya Zhao, whatever, was angry about something and blocked somebody. Now they say that there's already a uh, glaze antidote. So I guess I'm going to have to wait the 40 minutes and I will have to come back to you when I'm when that is when that's finished. Okay. So I finished glazing and this is the glazed, I think. Let me see real quick. Let me check the name. Yep. This is the glazed one. So now, even though I rent, so this is the nightshade where you can still see artifacts. It's, I mean, it looks like a bad JPEG at that point, but over here, man, this is a, the ugly one. Let me see. Is there a difference? Okay, this is the glazed one. That's the nightshade one. So, the difference is, is that they're just both ugly now. And one has nightshade on it and the other doesn't. But they still, to me, the... Look at that. It's even worse. Like, look at that discoloration on her face right there. Like, like look at that line. Ugly. This one's a little bit better, but not by much. They're both pretty, man, overall, I would say use it if you want to, man. It's hard. It's hard to say. It's just hard to say because when I see this and I look at it, the nightshade adds artifacts on it. It doesn't hide it completely. Like my artwork is very all over the place so because of how weird my artwork is like how saturated you can tell almost right away where the artifacts are this is not even i wouldn't even want to post this online if it looked like this like that line that these lines on her face like uh i don't know man well i hope this guy i hope this gives you a little bit of a guide into what to expect when you're using glaze and then using nightshade and then glazing afterwards. 
to see what it kind of would look like. I'm not going to do literally every single one because they just take too long. So using the default glaze medium time will bring you with this image on the left that looks not that much different than the nightshade image on the right. Oh, sorry. The glazing that was done on the right hand side. I just think it's up to the person. I think that the nightshade makes it look better. So it, you know, they say you should still use glaze. But there's so many artifacts if you do both. It looks like crap. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe. I, I don't, I forget to keep asking for subscribers. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.